So 1D&D has now decided to change Inspiration, and um, apparently they're trying to make Inspiration more used than it is right now. Okay, so here's the thing. The original rules for earning Inspiration in the player's handbook is awful. So what people have done is they ignore those rules or they change them for their game. That's what happened. Uh, you'll find that players do not like having to play to their floor so that they can get an, a roll advantage at a later date. Like, you, you're serious? Well, here's the thing. I think the intention behind it was that when the players did something that was playing to their floor and they had to roll a 20-sided dice that was related to that, that the dungeon master would give them inspiration and they would use it and get advantage for that roll. Like it would be used right then and there. I think that's what the design team was really going for. But there has also been the discussion of banking it and putting it aside and using it and saving it to be used during that session. Which of course caused all sorts of other problems. So right now the inspiration rules in the player's handbook don't get used or have been changed significantly by the vast community that we have. They have just ignored it completely. So doing anything with this is a silly thing to mess with, frankly, because I think they did not figure out what they needed to do with inspiration. I despise the idea of awarding inspiration to a player for rolling a natural 20 on a 20-sided dice. I am biased to that. Why? Because it's an unnecessary reward for being lucky already, and it can be and some tables be exploited by players who will try to force more dice rolls into the game if a dungeon master is not aware of the issue. Now this has been um, put forward as like, it's not just the d20, I dislike it in two parts. One because why reward somebody for already being lucky? Getting the natural 20 was good enough. Natural 20 now means automatic success. You got enough. Okay. Now next thing is, can it be exploited by players? Well, only if Dungeon Masters are new and are unaware that they probably should not allow for everything to be rolled. Like, if a player says, can I make a perception check? Can I do this? Can I do that? And you're allowing them to roll a dice every single time? We do have passive checks, people. You do not need to have them roll a dice every single time they do something. So you can actually, the Dungeon Master can, can control the number of times that a 20-sided dice gets rolled in their game like this dice here you do you decide when it gets rolled so actually yes players may try to exploit it but you have control of this you just need to make some decisions um frankly i think it probably makes more sense if you're going to have a dice roll involved to award inspiration for rolling a one why would we do that Primarily because I feel like a heel and bad for a player because they constantly failing everything and rolling a one sucks. Now I'm not suggesting that the inspiration be used when you've rolled the one, but you use it later, okay? Um, or have a variant roll that says, yes, when you roll a one, I'm going to give you inspiration so you can re-roll it. Which essentially means you would never be able to fail anything uh, on a one which would defeat the purpose of rolling a 1 on a 20-sided dice. So I'm not suggesting that's an idea, but I know it would work for some people. <clears throat> Can I just say that the rationale for actually changing inspiration and trying to hard-bake it into other parts of the game will just get those, um, those options banned or changed by Dungeon Masters. Right now, it's not going to work. Now, the criteria for awarding inspiration is bizarre, frankly. Okay? What I would say to you is there was another part on the play test that said that a dungeon master can award inspiration for a player um, for anything they think they, they did that was worthy. And that is probably where we need to be. Because that's what people are doing now. They've already acknowledged that that's what people are doing now. What is the smartest thing to do? How do you award uh, inspiration in your game? You simply have a list of suggestions for a dungeon master in terms of awarding inspiration. Trying to hand it over to the game mechanics so that players have control of earning and getting inspiration is probably the wrong way to go. Because I know that if I have a human that gets inspiration after a long rest every single day, I'm probably going to remove that. Now that's just me. Will other dungeon masters do that? Not necessarily. It's only one dice roll, right? 
is it going to be a big issue? So, but it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I think. The reality is the community is running inspiration however the hell they like. <laughs> so it won't matter what the design team are doing. Somehow the design team have assumed that players not using inspiration, this is why they've said this is why they're changing it, that players not using inspiration is because they're saving it for an important dice roll, they're saving it for the big bad, they're saving it for when they really think they need it. When in fact, I think, and my players have said this, all of them have said this to me multiple times, and I've heard this from other people as well that I've played with, I think the reason that players don't use inspiration when they get it is because they forget they have it. <laughs> they just forget. And when playing online, it's hard to remember that you have it. Whereas before, we were placing a big dice in front of somebody to say, you have inspiration. So that this is to remind you, you can use it. I think players forget to use inspiration. I also think that their characters have become so powerful, they don't think they need inspiration. The only time they would do it is... <clears throat> Well, I'm a rogue and I need to have advantage in this situation to be able to use my sneak attack. Then I would use it. Other than that, most of the time, all those characters are killing the monsters so quickly, they don't need to worry about rolling with advantage. Really. My players have told me this more than once. The whole lot. Multiples have told me this. It, it, it's, a, it's a real thing. Trust me, people, it's a real thing. I could be on the wrong track here, but I think I'm right. I think they've come to the wrong conclusion. Now, losing inspiration uh, when you start a, a long rest is much better than the players having to use their inspiration during the current game session because sometimes you would get awarded inspiration at the end of the game session and there's never an opportunity to actually use the dice roll. And apparently you can't bank it. Now, the reason that we have this here, uh, the, the, the session thing, is actually a product of Dungeons & Dragons Adventurers League. It's so that it, it, it can be easily tracked, like you have to use it during that session. Okay, It's all about Dungeons & Dragons Adventurers League. Not all of us are playing that game. We don't care about that if we're playing a home game. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, What I would say is, why do we need to lose inspiration at all? When you earn or get awarded inspiration, why do you even have to lose it? Because it creates issues around the players and the dungeon masters trying to find the right opportunity to use it. And you can eliminate that by just saying you keep it until you use it. I am fine with restricting player characters to having one inspiration at a time and not allowing it to stack because you could potentially stack that up uh, and power up a character or the entire party if you wanted to uh, when you're dealing with a big bad and just, you know the climax becomes um, a non-event. So I understand doing that. Um, but if you have everybody at the table with inspiration and they only have one, then that's a little bit easier to contend with than everybody having stacked up five or six inspirations to deal with the main villain, which would be a problem if they all decide to use it all at once to make sure that they have maximum carnage, <laughs> okay? I would say to you, don't worry about losing inspiration. You keep it until you, you use it. Um, it might even be better to make inspiration a party resource. So even though a player character or a character might earn it, for whatever they do, or a player might earn it, uh, for bringing pizza or whatever the heck it is, like everybody has all sorts of different criteria for earning inspiration, it might be better to say, like, anybody in the group can use that inspiration. We kind of already have that. Like, you can give your inspiration to somebody else to give them an advantage on a dice roll. You can do that now. So, yeah, make it a party resource. It'll get used just not necessarily, and if you can put all the dice on the table in a bowl, you might actually remember that you have them. You just pick up a dice when you need to use it, and it's gone. And of course, some players will use more of it than others. Hmm. Um, but yes, ultimately, it will not matter what they do with um, inspiration, because right now, everybody's ignoring what they did in the past anyway, so nothing they do for the future is going to change diddly squat. <laughs>